The following video will show you how to remove the stock headlights on all 2021 and newer Broncos. All right, first thing we're gonna need to do to get our headlights off is remove this upper cover here on our radiator. To do that, we're gonna need our trim removal tool to remove a series of push pins that hold it in place. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so we've got nine of these push pins that have to be removed. So we're just gonna slip the edge of our removal tool underneath the top portion, lift it up, and then we can pull the rest of it out. All right, once you've got your push pins removed, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and remove this inlet here for your intake, just because it kind of hangs up on the cover. So to do that, we're just gonna lift it up and back. Once that's done, we can go ahead and lift our cover out of place. And now we've got four bolts here in the front, right behind the front edge of the grill. We're gonna take those out using our 10 millimeter socket. Now, depending on your model of the Bronco, you may have a front camera and a washer for that camera. If you do, you'll need to pull this out gently so that you can disconnect the wire for the camera and also disconnect the hose for the washer. So we're just gonna pull this out slightly. Now we'll disconnect our camera here simply by pushing in on the release lever and pulling it out. Now we can go ahead and disconnect our washer hose. To do that, we've got one clip here. Just grab it on both sides and pop it off. We've got another clip here that attaches it to the wiring harness. So you just need to reach under, push that clip in and disconnect it. Then using our trim removal tool, unpop the Christmas tree connector here. And then finally, we can disconnect our hose from the washer at the bottom. Now you wanna be a little careful when you're pulling this off. Make sure that you don't break anything because it is plastic. And now we can go ahead and get our grill out of the way. Now the next thing we have to do, because there is a bolt at the bottom of our fender trim here, so that needs to come off before we can get to that other bolt. In order to get to this off, we have to take our fender flares off. It's a really easy process, no tools are required. There are five clips on the underside of our fender flare here. So we'll need to unclip those. It's a simple lever. I'll show you that when we get it off because it's hard to get the camera up in here. So we'll go ahead and take that off and then we can take off our front piece. Now, once you've got the levers undone, simply pull it away from the fender. Now, here are the levers that we were talking about that have to be released in order to remove the fender flare. It's a simple lever, back and forth, all you have to do to be able to pull this out. Now, if you're replacing both headlights like we are, you'll need to remove the fender flare from the other side as well before we take off this trim piece. Now we can remove this trim piece across the front of the grill simply by grabbing the edge of it here and prying it away. There are no, no bolts holding this in, so it's just a matter of pulling and detaching it. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side and get that out of the way. Now this is the bolt that was behind that trim piece that we just removed. So we'll go ahead and take that out using our eight millimeter socket.
Now we've got two 10 millimeter bolts at the top of our headlight, one here and one here. We'll go ahead and take those out with our 10 millimeter socket. Now right next to this top bolt here on the outside of the headlight, there is a push pin that needs to be removed. So we'll use our trim removal tool, get, under, get underneath that, and pop it out. Now we can go ahead and remove our headlight. So we'll grab the bottom of it here and the top and just pull it away. Now once you've got it pulled away from the vehicle, we can go ahead and disconnect our harness here simply by pushing in on the black release tab and pulling it out. And now you can repeat that process for the other light. Thanks for watching. And remember, for all things Bronco, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.